It is early in the morning, about 6.15, and the backpacks are packed, the kitties are fed, and we are dressed, and we're waiting on Natty. The, the cougar hunter. <laughs> we are going on a private puma guide, and we're going to see if Natalie, which I think we call her Natty, can help us find one of G's giant cousins. gonna be a good day let's go good morning everyone we are ready to go we are excited we are parked here at the base of Torres del Pine it's where we parked last night we had a beautiful sunrise this morning I just missed it with the camera but the sky did light up in red and I think our guide, Natty, might be pulling up right now. There's only a few few spots. And I believe that's her. We'll see. <laughs> yep, that's her. All right, we are in the car with Natty. Hi, Natty. Hey. Snow's back in the back. And uh, she said the word for the day is tranquilo. We're going to be riding nice and slow looking for these cats. No telling how many we drove past yesterday. But she has trained eyeballs. So hopefully we'll find some of these things. It's all white. Natty's telling us this is prime time for seeing pu or for seeing pumas. The guanacos in the evening time go up the hills to sleep, so they sleep up on top of the hills, and then in the morning time they come down off of the hills. And when they're going up and when they're going down is when they have the worst line of sight and they're most susceptible to the pumas. And so the pumas hunt then. And you're saying that. They likely already have their breakfast this morning. Yeah, we're looking back. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, we just spotted a fox as we're riding through here. And the sun's just coming up, and so the lighting right now is pretty good. Lit him up. And we got a little shot. There is a little rainbow behind us. But we're not looking for foxes today. We're looking for pumas. So we're going to keep moving on. So we're driving to a place where the other day Natty spotted a family of pumas, which would be really cool, but we've spotted a juvenile eagle along the way. Did you ever work for the park or you just were always a guide? Is a tour guide? No way I work. Independent. Oh, there's the other side of the rainbow right there. There's so much cover out here. These pumas really could be anywhere. We're out here in what they call the pampa or the steppe. But basically it's kind of a hilly, dry, just area that's covered in these small sagey shrubs, little patches of grass. Plenty of places for a puma to tuck under and hide. We're seeing little herds and groups of guanacos across here. And as Snow has told you before, there's always a guanaco on the lookout. So as we watch the guanaco, guanacos, we're kind of looking for a group that's a little bit nervous which would indicate that there could be a puma around. But so far, no activity. 
So we just made a big loop searching for pumas and we saw several birds. We saw a fox, but no pumas unfortunately. So we're going to another secret spot. Hopefully we can find some there. Cross your fingers guys, we need some good luck. Come on nature, show us a puma. We do have a nice full rainbow right here in front of the mountains, which unfortunately it's foggy so we can't see. Is there a place to pull off so we can video yeah. them? We have spotted a few flamingos. flamingos. Kurt is going to video them. One of the things that we've learned is to watch for condors. The big condors, when they see a puma, kind of circle around trying to share. Yeah, they want to share some of the fresh kill. So Kurt and Nati are doing this trail and we're allowed to do it because Nati has the license required. Soon they'll pop out somewhere through there because this is the end point. Now it was way too long of a trail for me to do. But hopefully, hopefully they spot a puma out there. This is supposed to be the absolute best place to spot one. So hopefully they do. Got a pretty red bird here with me. A couple of them. There's one on this bush, and one on the next bush, and one on the next bush. Now you can't see them all, but they're lined up about 50 feet apart. How cool is that? Let's see here if I can zoom in a little. I don't have the big camera. So Natty's been joking with us and she says this is tourist bones, victim of the puma, but you can definitely see we're in territory because that guanaca got ate. So we got out on this trail and we've been walking for about an hour through this terrain and uh, to be honest with you, I know they spot pumas out here, but I don't know how. I mean, if you look at this grass, it's so thick they can just lay down in it. It'd be tough to see. Maybe if they were sitting up on the rocks or something. But I keep scanning the horizon, these ridges of the mountains and the rocks and the hills, and trying to squint and look through the, the grasses and the, and the hedges. Unfortunately, we still have not spotted a puma. We're not giving up. Not yet anyway. Jeez. So we've seen condors and we've seen guanacos out here. And believe it or not, we've been swarmed by mosquitoes multiple times. So it makes filming very difficult as well as looking through the binoculars. Cause when you stop and try to get a lock on anything, they just devour you. 
and they're giant mosquitoes too and they take big bites they've popped out of the middle of nowhere and they're walking towards the car no pumas no pumas oh no we did not have success with the pumas but we did have big success with the mos giant mosquitoes so fortunately we survived <laughs> we're not giving up we have another secret spot so okay let's do it cross your fingers Winding roads have led. Oh, oh. I can see a day of gold ahead. Oh, oh. It can't be done, impossible, they've said. But I'll get there. I'll get there. I will ride. We are back at the van. Pumas take an afternoon siesta, like most people down here in South America. So we have come to the van to have some lunch, open the door for the kitties, and it's kind of rainy, but if this rain will go away, Kurt and Nadi might try again around 4 or 4.30. It all depends. But for now, no Puma sightings. Just a little polka dotted G money and some chili heating up left over from yesterday. Okay, Natty just came running up, said she heard on the radio that there's some pumas from another puma guide. So there they go. Wish them luck, guys. Go get some pumas, Curdy. Well, I've had a nice nap, which I needed because from the hike yesterday in that soft gravel, I wore myself out, which is why I didn't go for the afternoon Puma tour. Kurt is still gone. It is cold and damp outside now. It's getting late, so I am trying to be Chef Snow. Now, I admit, it will not be as good as Kurt's. I am not the chef that he is, but we got some butternut squash and some baked chicken and some cut up onions going in there. Starting to smell good here in the van. And for those of you that are wondering, yes, our oven is under the bed, but when we are using it, it slides out. So it's completely safe. We don't slide it back under the bed till it has cooled all the way down. It's one of the creative space using techniques we came up with when we were use, designing the van. So hopefully the fact that they've been gone this long means they found some pumas. 
So we'll see when they get back. All right, we just got word. I shouldn't say we. I didn't get. I got to give credit to our our awesome guide. She just found out where the pumas are. We are racing there right now, trying to get them. This is going to be intense, guys. I hope we got them. All right, what's the situation? Go ahead. Where are they? <laughs> Amarga. Amarga. We're going to Amarga Lagoon. All right. What are the odds we're going to see them? At least two or three pumas. Let's see two what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's go. This is intense right now, guys. Driver two guys, super focused. Super focused right now. I am super excited. I am, I'm like, I can't stop smiling. I'm like smiling. I'm like so smiling. We have been looking so hard for these things and we took a break and uh, she got a call. And, well, I don't know. You heard it. Let's go. Let's go. Drive like that. I like it. Drive like that. Pumas. Let's go get these Pumas. Oh, it's just up past this. We go straight here. Last time we turned left, and it was at the end of the loop. Oh, oh they're down here eating guanacos. Guanaco tacos. Oh, that bus is trying to get there first. <laughs> you can take it. That's a big truck. You got it. Guys, this is intense. Two or three Pumas reported. Ugh. All right, so this is the lake where they're at. There's a little chatter on the radio. I'll let you guys hear it if it pops on again. But it looks like they're over across the way. So they're right here. Oh, there's the car. All right, guys. We're getting close. It's critical. Earlier today, Natty met up with a couple other guides at a stop and they exchanged information. And well, I think they're sharing information right now. We're about to find out. Here's another driver, or another guide. So we've been told that the Pumas up here by these guanacos. So there's two guanacos up here on the side of the hill. One's on top of another. And I had to grab the tripod, it was so windy. But I thought I saw a puma kind of climbing, working the mountain up towards him. But we definitely haven't confirmed it and haven't seen anything like that since. But one of the guanacos, the, the guard guanaco, the centurion or whatever, he's on lookout. He's moved out to the point right now. And so we don't know if he's kind of trying to scout out for the puma. That's what they characteristically do. But we just can't get our camera lens or our eyeballs on a puma. Si lo echo una mira igual. I think we just got news that they've already boogered out. Spotting wildlife can be like this sometimes. 
You just stare at the same landscape over and over again, just scanning every inch, every bush, every shrub, every clump of grass, just looking for movement or maybe an unusual color. And when it happens, sometimes all of a sudden, something just shows up. It just shows up. Like you're staring at the same thing, and there it is. And it's always a moment of intensity. Like, it's tough to explain. <laughs> I'm still waiting to get that experience today. So we left our spot at Laguna Amarga. And we've been just cruising along ever so slowly, scanning the mountainside, looking for the puma. Still looking, guys, still looking. So over there across the laguna, that's where we, 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 were, we were searching. We kind of cruised along looking at these cliff, cliff sides. And now we're gonna give it a little bit more time get the camera out and scan out here to see if maybe we can't see something. As we pulled out of Torres del Paine, we spent about an hour scanning, scouring the mountainsides, hoping, fingers crossed, we might find a puma. But it's not the first time we've been stumped and probably won't be the last. We're disappointed, but we will continue to look for big cats wherever they reside in the world. Sorry we didn't find a puma for you guys. We'll see you on the next one. There's some guanacos. Guanaco tacos. Cheers, guys. Cheers. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys.